When you collaborate with others, you expect the information you share is accurate and easy to manage. With enhancements to the mapping of layers and classes on DWG imports, you'll enjoy a quick import process that doesn't require manual efforts to rename and organize the information from DWG files. In previous versions, the ability to map various classes and layers to their desired DWG counterparts was introduced for exporting to DXFDWG, but now we've included this ability during the import process as well. During import, once you see the DXFDWG import options dialog, click Advanced. On the left, click Classes and Layers, and then you'll be able to choose what mapping set you wish to use and whether to map layers to classes by default or as layers for legacy applications. Click Manage, and you'll see each potential layer in the file being imported, and you can manually set what it will be mapped to. Once you do this, this set can be saved so that subsequent DWGs from the same source can either be imported exactly the same way, or to give you a quick starting point that you can just modify a few classes in during the next import, saving you a great deal of time and making round-tripping of DWG files even smoother.